change from what I've experienced to what I'm already going through. You can't accomplish and conquer every one of them at one time. However, you do have the power to do it. Let's stand for the reading of God's word. Y'all eight. Get all that going down into your system real good. Don, can I have some water, please? And let's read it together in unison because unified body also breaks down strongholds. All right? Let's begin. For though we walk in the flesh, do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but mighty before God, God to the casting down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing exalted against the knowledge of God, and every thought into captivity to the obedience. Amen. You may have a seat. We're going to be identifying strongholds. I believe that you cannot defeat an enemy that you do not know. Amen. I believe a lot of us pray in vain because we do not identify the demon who we're trying to fight. Amen. We always say Satan. What part of Satan? We always say the demon. Well, what's the demon's name? It goes from the scripture of John I know, Jesus I know, but who are you? Amen. Personal strongs, we're going to break it up in two different parts. The first half of this conference, we're going to speak about personal strongholds. Get your pen ready. And those are, I may not get through all of them, but you can come and get a tape. Self-preservation. Self-preservation. Victim syndrome. Victim syndrome. Spiritual arthritis. Mm -hmm. Spiritual root rot. Spiritual fungus. And spiritual identity theft. This is the first half. Identifying strongholds. The second half, you might as well write these down so you can get prepared for it. This is for the body of Christ strongholds. This is a corporate stronghold. See, there's different types of demons. There's different levels of demons. There's different levels of spiritual warfare. And we have to get equipped as women because we're called to war. To know the dimension in which we're fighting. The body of Christ strongholds is the Christian civil war. Y'all know all about that one. <laughs> spiritual murder. And spiritual chemical warfare. That's the second half. Alright. You got that all written down? We, as a people, are in three different levels of warfare. We are in a Christian civil war, mm -hmm, as well as a strategic spiritual war, which means we war within ourselves and with each other, with, with everybody in the Bible. We do. We have wars within each Come on. We fight each other. We really do, women. Then we war against Satan. So, understand, there's a war within ourselves. There's a war that we think we ain't having, but we are in the church. And then there's the war against Satan. We're not realizing that his sneaky, antagonistic devices have already penetrated our walls and are breaking down our shields of salvation and replacing them with strongholds. Did y'all get that? The shield of salvation. Most of the time because we don't pick up our word. 
Most of the time because we don't know who we are. I can, I can guarantee you 99% of the time that something is in coming as an attack against us is because we just talked about this. We've opened up a gateway to allow Satan in to have us for lunch. It could be as simple as uh, not forgiving somebody. I don't know why I have this headache. Oh, every time I see that person, I get a headache. It must be because I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't understand. There's something about that sister I just can't put my finger on. It. Mm -hmm. Could be as simple as disobedience. I've experienced that yesterday. I disobeyed my husband. God forbid. He told me he spent a certain amount of money. And here's the crazy part. I kept putting the credit card through and it said can't read the credit card. I don't think so. <laughs> Can't read the credit card. When the Holy Spirit said to me, you know you're being disobedient. You, you know you're lying. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> the very next morning I woke up sick to my stomach. Now wait a minute. It's all because I wanted something to eat. So I'm sitting there watching TV. Ooh, why my stomach hurting? Why my stomach? Well, now Satan has me for lunch. I open the door. He can attack me right before ministry engagement now. Try to explain it to Big Daddy. Couldn't come up with a good explanation, y'all. Well, <laughs> I was hungry and uh. But baby, I told you this was the amount. Well, you know, my blood sugar was low. <laughs> but I got hit with sickness. Now I had to repent so I could walk up in here. Y'all know I, this is a simple statement, but it's true. Disobedience. This is a message that God has is given me to bring to you. We need to be able to identify the tricks of the enemy and recognize name and bring down the walls of stronghold. 2 Timothy 2 and 10 says, And with all the seat of unrighteousness for them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, of the truth. He's not talking about unsaved people. He's talking about us. We received it not. One of the ways that God begins to help us identify and bring down the walls of strongholds is by changing our mindset and cleansing our hearts. It's kind of like having a, a, a really dirty mirror. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Have you ever walked into, well, I haven't because I don't like spiders, but have you ever walked into an old raggedy house and take a walk through it? Mm, that's good, Lord. And, and you get to the bathroom trying to check it out, see what's in there. And the, the, there's so much dirt on the mirror. It, it takes more than a notion to try to get that clean. But God told me that some of us need some Windex with ammonia in it. Because our mirror is so dirty. We need the Windex to try to break through and we need the ammonia to clean it up. To disinfect it. And here's the beautiful thing about the mirror. It's so dirty that we keep from looking at ourselves and we blame everybody else. And the main thing we try to blame is Satan. Satan's like, I had to do that one. I had a thing. I didn't do nothing. I was over there with Sister So and So. And you try to put it on me. But well, most of the time it's us. We choose. Mm -hmm. We choose to be.